The Soviet Sukhoi Su-17 fitter was developed from the Sukhoi Su-7. The Su-17 was the first variable sweep wing aircraft to enter Soviet service. It has been used by many air forces around the world. The Sukhoi Su-7 entered service in the Soviet Union in 1959. Shortly after this, in the early 1960s, Sukhoi was ordered to develop a modernization program for the Su-7. The purpose of this was upgrading avionics, and improving takeoff and landing performance. A variable sweep wing design was tested on the Su-7IG, which was a converted Su-7BM production aircraft. The new design improved both takeoff and landing performance, and improved the range and endurance of the aircraft. The good results led to an order into serial production in 1969. Serial production of the aircraft, now named the Sukhoi Su-17, was started in 1969, and continued until 1990. The Su-17 had a fuel system that was modified from that of the Su-7, and flight control systems were assisted by hydraulics, providing feedback force on the stick and rudder pedals. The engine was a modified Lilka AL-7 F1250, which was equipped with a compressor actuator, and had a system for intake adjustment. The Su-17 had the capability to carry freefall nuclear bombs. The pilot had to enter a code, before the bombs could be armed and released. The aircraft was also equipped with two 30mm Noodleman Richter NR-30 autocannons, and could carry extra gun pods. It was also capable of carrying several types of air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles as well as anti-radar missiles and different types of conventional bombs and rockets. The Sukhoi Su-20 was the first export version of the Su-17, and the Sukhoi Su-22 is also usually considered a variant of the Su-17. After 1991, the Su-17s of the former Soviet Union were split between the former Soviet republics. Russia used the Su-17 in the First Chechen War for ground attack and reconnaissance missions, and retired the Su-17 in 1998. The Sukhoi Su-17 and its variants were used in over 20 countries, and is still in use in Iran, Libya, Poland, Syria, Vietnam, and Yemen. In total, 2,867 aircraft were produced.